Hello everyone, this is Maurice Lee, and in this short video, I want to show you how to calculate your profits using dollar amount instead of percentages. Um, it's very easy, very simple, and I think this would be very beneficial to many of you who have been having problems with your, with your pricing, uh, which has caused you to lose money. Um, so real quick, uh, you go to settings, after logging into your SKU Grid account, uh, once it brings you to the general setting um, page, you choose the appropriate platform that you are selling on, um, either eBay US or eBay UK. I'm selling on eBay US, so I'm going to click eBay US. It will bring you to another page that deals with settings. Um, we are not concerned with any of these settings because this is um, already done. We are concerned with calculating eBay's selling price. Click on wizard, and here is the section where you put your formula in that will apply to all of the items that come into SKU Grid. Um, side note, uh, you can also do this with, with Hydralista for those of you who have a Hydralista account and you list your items and they are then carried straight over to SKU Grid. Um, you can also do the same, um, you can use the same little tip uh, with 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 Hydra Lister. So basically when you get here, one simple change. You want to cancel out uh, profit margin in percentages. So you just place a, a zero in the percentage um, box. What this does is eliminate um, profit margin in percentage from the equation of the whole of the whole calculation that SKU Grid is going to go through. So that being taken out, the only thing that you are working with now in regards to your profit is dollar amount, whether fixed or minimal. So for example, let's say I have an item and I have done some research on it and I see that the item is selling and is selling at a price that will allow me to yield five dollars in profit. So I want to go for a five dollar profit, I just place a five here. I'm working in dollar amount and not in percentage. If I don't want to earn anything less than this $5 in profit, I also put it here for the minimum margin. But both of these, note, they are in dollar amount. However, if I'm okay with earning something a little less, let's say it's $3, okay, boom, I just change that to a three. This is the minimum that SKU Grid is gonna allow the price to change um, on, on eBay. No matter what happens on the supplier's website, SKU Grid will always price my item to at least yield me a $3 profit. But the main point of this video is just dealing with profit on margin in dollar amount, period. So again, to take this out of the equation, to take this uh, out of the calculation, just place a zero in this box. And so now you are dealing with a uh, profit margin in dollar amount. You're not dealing with it in percentage. And this, I think, would be much easier for a lot of users because most of us have learned from the beginning to set our profits in dollar amount. There are not that many people who use percentages. And it's just easier to do it this way because, for example, let's say you have an item that costs $63 when it's, when it's uh, entered into to SKU Grid. On the supplier website, it's $63. And you have done your research and you know that you can make a $5 profit off of this item. So you want to make a $5 profit. However, you may not know uh, the equivalent of $5 in profit uh, in percentage. So you may not know, for example, that $5 profit on this item would actually be 8%. So to avoid um, having to do all of that work and try to figure out exactly what percentage you need to put in here in order to make $5 profit, just cancel it out and put the desired profit in dollar amount in the dollar amount section. Hopefully this short video uh, would be of some help to those who are struggling a little bit with setting their profit uh, profits. If, if so, if you find some value in this video, um, I recommend that you subscribe to my YouTube channel um, because I'm going to start putting up more and more videos more often 
just to assist sellers um, who use QGrid and HydraLister and also those who are who may be interested in using these tools. So that's it for now. Look out for my next video.